Focus on you, not the competition. Here's something I think a lot of people do in life is they get sidetracked by others' successes. Listen, do not do the social media comparison game. Don't look at what people post on social media and say, wow, they're traveling here. Wow, they've got this fancy car. Wow, they've got all this money. You really have no idea what someone's life is really like. So why are you getting sidetracked by other success? And why are you social media comparison to others? It doesn't get you anywhere. Trust me, I used to do it all the time. I would be like, man, that speaker has the great life. They're traveling here and there. And man, they're making money. I'm sitting here doing free jobs, getting nowhere. And what I was doing was really discouraging myself. And I was self-loathing and making myself feel really bad. And that gets you nowhere. So again, you have to focus on you and not the competition. And stop looking at other people's success and thinking, why don't I have that? Stop social media comparison that gets you nowhere and focus on you. Focus on what you do best. Here's the thing. Here's the catch. Focus on creating a primary lane that you can drive down in the beginning. And as you start having success in that lane, then expand. So take me, for example. My primary lane was speaking. I worked hard at it. Built an amazing team around me started to really just push myself forward in that lane. And so because of that, and as a result of that lane, I started getting more opportunity for one-on-one -on -one coaching, consulting, being a brand ambassador, taking equity ownership in businesses that align with our brand, writing a couple of books. But here's the thing. If I had tried to do all of that in the beginning, I would have literally drove myself crazy because here's the thing. If you have all these different things to what you're trying to do, right? Different lanes and avenues. You're going to give 10% here, 5% there, 20% here, and you're never going to give maximum efficiency in one thing. So for me, I gave 100% of my effort, my blood, sweat, and tears to speaking. As I got to get known in that area, I then was able to pull away parts of that 100% here or there, drop some percentage in consulting, drop some percentage in coaching, drop some percentages in books. And it worked from there and I kept going. So again, remember in the beginning, focus on a primary lane, get that car going, speeding down the highway towards success, get it moving full in motion with a full tank of gas on the highway 55, doing 90 miles an hour, driving off into the sunset. Get that primary lane going. And then as you start to make success, then branch off and hop off the exit to different lanes that you want to have success in based upon your primary lane. Does that make sense? Now, here's the thing. As you start making money, right, in your business, be smart. Buy up assets and watch and mitigate expenses. Here's the thing. Let's take today with the coronavirus. If you're someone who's made a lot of money, but you spend a lot of money, right? You don't have any reserves. It's so important that in today's society, especially when we live in a world we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, you want to work hard and build great assets for yourself cash, liquidity, property, things of that nature. But again, limit your expending, limit your expense spending. Be more specific. Limit your expense spending on especially consumer goods, food, clothes, things of that nature that you cannot get anything back for. I'm telling you, as someone that lost it all, went from a eight-figure year business down to basically $400 in his account, filing a bankruptcy, having his home foreclosed on, both cars repossessed in the same day, being fired from two jobs in the same week. I have been to hell and back. So understand, I'm not speaking to you from a place of trying to make you feel a certain way. I'm speaking to you from a place of someone who's actually been there. So again, build up assets, keep reserves of cash and liquidity, 
and limit and minimize your expenses and spending, especially on the consumer expense spending side. Now, as you grow and as you start to have massive success in your business or your businesses, you have to be sure that you always want to grow a team around you that's willing to what? Work as hard as you do. The human mind is designed to do a lot of things. It's not designed to do everything. So you must have the right team members, right processes and systems in place to get you where you want to be. So again, it's all about focusing on you and not the competition. Here's the one main point I want you to get from this video. You must, must, as you're having success, build up your assets and limit your expenses spending. It is imperative. You don't want to work so hard to amass a lot of success, but they have nothing to show for it. Again, if you know someone that could be, again, if you know someone that can benefit from this video, please share it with them, okay? Casual conversation, social media, email marketing. Let's spread positivity. Let's get out there and let people know that if they are having a difficult time, we're here for them to help them push through. Let's inspire people to achieve success in their own life. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.